My name is Elizabeth Bird, and I am the Director of Program Services for Big Brothers Big Sisters of Greater Dallas. Adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs, are potentially traumatic events or aspects of a child's environment that threaten their sense of safety, stability, and bonding. Toxic stress from ACEs can change brain development and change how the body responds to stress. They are linked to chronic health problems, mental illness, and substance misuse in adulthood. Specifically, ACEs impact decision-making, self-regulation, fear processing, memory, and stress management. Impairments in these functions can significantly impact a child's ability to reach their full potential. A report by the CDC emphasizes the importance of relationships with caring adults as a tool to mitigate the impact of ACEs on children. One way that having a big in a child's life can help combat the impact of ACEs is by giving them a toolbox, a toolbox of ways to handle things, a way to process things, and just knowing things are gonna be okay, which builds resiliency in the child. A big really serves as guardrails in the little's life. The little has what their dreams are, what their hopes are, what their goals are, and, and the volunteer serves as guardrails to keep them focused on where it is that they want to go. One of the things that sets Big Brothers Big Sisters apart from other mentoring organizations is our ongoing support of each match. Each match is assigned a match support specialist, or an MSS as we call them, and that person is available to the match through the entire life of their relationship to help them overcome hurdles, help them set goals, and celebrate successes together. Now we're going to hear from Brianna and Ashley and learn how a big can support their little's emotional well-being. Hi guys, I'm Brianna and I'm a little in Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Uh, my favorite hobbies are drawing, and I like painting as well. Hey guys, my name is Ashley Curitan and I am a big sister with Big Brothers Big Sisters. When I first met Ashley, I was in middle school and I didn't really know myself yet. And I was in a very dark place and I didn't know how Ashley would react to that. So I kind of just kept quiet. I didn't want to talk to her about anything. We just met at our house and had the introductions with our match specialist at the time. That's when I kind of realized that we like and dislike pretty much the same thing. During my freshman year, I was being bullied and I wasn't telling anyone about it. Not saying I didn't have anyone to talk to, but I just didn't know how to talk about stuff like that because I had never experienced it before. I was kind of in a very dark place and I let the darkness take over me. And I just didn't want to be here anymore. So I went the wrong way instead of going right. When I woke up and I saw that Ashley was there and calling and checking on me, I realized that she was there and she wasn't going anywhere. And it made me feel more comfortable to open up to her. And now she's always making sure that I'm okay and I'm doing good. You know, after she she was released, I I just told her I met up with her as soon as possible and I was just like, no ma'am. <laughs> you know, like I I I'm here. You can tell me anything. Ashley has helped me in many ways, like just being there, being supportive and being my shoulder to cry on and just listening, being a great listener. We are in each other's lives for the long haul. <laughs> um, as I told her, I'm not going anywhere. I am here for her always. I love you and I just want to thank you for being here for me for these past four years. They have been the best four years of my life and thank you for just being there for me. I am so blessed and thankful that I get to be on this journey called life with you. I can't wait to see what the next chapter looks like for you um, and experience that with you. We have a friendship and I'm truly, truly grateful for that friendship that we have together.